uh, a sense of self-identity, who, who God has made them and the kind of abilities and um, aptitudes that, that uh, have come from him as the, the creator. Um, a sense of their value, that they are loved and cared for, appreciated, valued um, by us as well as their parents and, and of course by their Heavenly Father. Um, and a sense that there is a purpose in life, there's something to be aiming for which is going to give their, their life a sense of direction and value. Well, I say um, you learn more about the Bible. Um, it's just instead of like going to school and then just going to church on a Sunday, it's more like church every day. Um, we like we we have to learn scripture and stuff, so it gets scripture into our hearts and into our minds. And yeah, it's just really encouraging to have Christian friends and just have people around you that can give you advice when you need it, and have teachers that love you instead of just wanting to teach you and stuff like that. Your own work. Uh, you work at your own pace. Um, if you want to graduate at 20, you could easily do that, possibly later. Um, if you want to graduate early, you can. Um, it's very much like your own work, and it's not. You have the teacher there that helps you individually with each thing that you're doing, and you can work until you graduate. You can work and finish earlier, or it's all very um, individual work instead of a classroom based, which um, I much prefer as well because I can focus on what I'm doing and try not to be distracted by what's going on around me so I think people say that we're very kind of sheltered um, but whether or not that's a good thing I guess that's up to them to determine but I, it's less exposure to um, to things that maybe would harm you and um, I know I help out in the kids group in my church and in the community and there's a lot of 11 year olds and 10 year olds there who are just talking about things that just are not appropriate to be talking about and I guess especially for younger ones it really kind of does, it shelters them from, from all of this. Then when you get older you, you begin to realise that there are things um, there are things like that in the world and um, um, you're still sheltered away from them but you have an understanding of them and um, but you're just not immersed in them I think. It's, it's such a small school that it's just, it's like a family. So you see all the younger ones grow up, you hold the little ones as a baby and see them turn into teenagers as well before you graduate and yeah it's really nice to like just spend time with all the students and like in state schools you tend to have just your groups that you hang around with whereas here it's like you go out into the playground and you play with like the five year olds and stuff like that so yeah it's really nice. Yeah it's, it's brotherly love is everywhere I mean it's every, you know everyone and everyone knows you and you can say hi to anyone and I guess that's different from other schools as well because um, I guess you don't have that relationship with everyone. You've got your um, your group of friends and maybe other people you might speak to, but everyone here is your friend, and even the youngest ones will come up to you and ask for help. And yeah, it's, it's just great to be here. Do have as a parent, if you do have a sense that um, it's important for those people whose voices have input into your child's life um, to be saying the kind of things that you personally would want to say. Um, and that will be in line with what you see as being God's plan and purpose for that child, then um, that's a very strong reason for seriously considering Christian education. The, the teachers re here really are really concerned for you as a person and your character and your spiritual, um, where you are spiritually and just um, your relationship with the Lord. They're really they really, um, it's almost more important to them than your actual education itself. And I think that's, that's really key in, um, in this school where um, Jesus comes first above everything else. If you want your child to grow up um, knowing God, living for God and living by their faith and not your faith, then Maranatha is a great place to come to get your own individual faith and your own firm foundation on God's word and on God. So yeah, I'd definitely say come to Maranatha and your student will have a great time, a great education and will have such a strong faith in God by the end of it.